Hello, everyone. My name is Stephanie. I'm a former midwife and lactation consultant, and I'm currently an uh, epidemiologist working with COVID-19 vaccine confidence. And I am excited to be here talking with Dr. Fiona Matatal, an OBGYN in Calgary, Alberta. And we are here to talk about COVID-19 vaccines and reproductive health. Um, this video is part of a three-part series. Um, so Fiona, I'm excited to have you here because as an OBGYN, you get to work with people throughout the reproductive years. Um, and one of the things that keeps coming up as a concern about the COVID-19 vaccine um, uh, is causing infertility. Uh, as someone who felt like having kids was really important to me, I feel like this would totally freak me out. Is there any risk of these vaccines causing infertility? So that's a really good, a really good question. I've had this question a lot in the office as I see, you know, women and couples who are planning pregnancy and everybody wants to be so careful about optimizing their health and being at their best health when you start thinking about becoming pregnant and wanting to avoid things that could interfere with that. So of course, women are um, worried about that and wanting to be careful. Um, there was some early discussion about could this interfere with fertility um, and it was all based on the possibility that the spike protein on the virus could be very close in structure to a protein that's involved in um, the placenta establishing itself early in pregnancy. So that was the question and it has been investigated and it turns out that, that those two proteins are actually not as similar as was thought. And we see no evidence that um, the vaccine will cause infertility. Interestingly, we've also got some studies um, showing women who were vaccinated and didn't know they were pregnant or very early in pregnancy and have had no trouble with those pregnancies going forward. So we can put that to rest that this vaccine does not cause infertility um, for women. And in fact, you would be very well off to get the vaccine to get yourself to your healthiest to protect yourself from COVID in your future pregnancy. Great, that's reassuring. Um, I've heard similar concerns about male fertility. Is there anything to that? So again, good questions. We're not seeing any data showing that men who have received the vaccine have any concerns with their own fertility. But interestingly, there's some emerging studies and emerging evidence that COVID infection, not the vaccine, but the infection itself, can have some problems with both sperm production and also erectile dysfunction. So again, men who are planning a pregnancy with their partners should really consider to do everything they can to protect themselves from getting this virus. And the vaccine is one of those tools to help protect. Wow, that's really interesting. I hadn't heard that yet. Um, so the other thing that I've been hearing a lot of anecdotal reports about are menstrual irregularities after COVID-19 vaccines. It sounds like some people report noticing that their cycles are changing after they get the vaccine. Um, is this reflected in the literature? Is there anything to it? Well, this is a tough one because in the original studies looking at the uh, vaccines as they were being studied in their phase one, two, and three trials, unfortunately did not ask women in those studies what was happening with your period. So we didn't have any data coming out of the clinical trials to suggest that menstruation would be affected. But what we have definitely heard from women and I've heard from patients is that following the vaccine that they may notice a change for that month um, in the timing of that bleed or the amount of bleeding might be different from what women would have expected. Um, so we're definitely hearing this from women. Um, it does not is not a lingering problem with periods. And um, what's really important is that if women do notice a change in their periods, it might be good to check in with your physician because you wouldn't want to necessarily blame the vaccine. And it could be a sign that something else is going on. So if you've noticed a change in your periods and you've had the vaccine, definitely touch base with your primary healthcare provider. Well, that's really interesting. This has been so fantastic. Thank you for sharing your knowledge and experience. 
Um, if people who are considering pregnancy um, in the future or are, have more questions about um, the pregnancy, uh, the vaccine and reproductive health, are there some resources you could point them to that might be reliable? So some great resources are, if you're going online, go to resources that are um, national organizations like Canadian government, public health websites, the SOGC in Canada is the Society of Obstetricians and Gynecologists of Canada. They have um, a website information on vaccines uh, in pregnancy and planning pregnancy. Um, and in the United States, you could look at the Centers for Disease Control have good information on their website as well. Great, thanks so much. You're welcome.